Greetings and welcome to Nathan Lyle Official. My name is, if you've never seen my face in the video before, my name is Nathan Lyle. This is my personal channel where I do vlogs, reviews, and anything else that happens to catch my fancy at the time. And like, right now, this was supposed to be like, just a general rants and rambles, but honestly, I've been meaning to make one of these videos. Can't remember when's the last time I make it. I think sometimes in January, it might have been a whole month since you've seen my face, which is half the reason I decided to do this. And so, yeah, things, well, here's the thing, some things are looking up, some things ain't looking too great, like, January was a huge, got some good paychecks, made plenty of money, you No, know, I got to relax, chill, eat plenty of fast food, I, you know, the weather was good, so I didn't have to worry too much about, like, blasting my unit over there, <laughs> but, yeah, long story short, uh, January has been one of the best months I've had in years. Where like I worked plenty, but it wasn't like being at work wasn't overwhelming. I've really like stuck, found my groove. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling like I've been there for years, and, and you know it hasn't. And you know we we have it hasn't been overwhelmingly busy, but it hasn't been like so dead so that we're not making money and no one's getting paid. You know, like I'm so yeah. I'm working hard, I'm getting paid, but I'm also getting good work done, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I've got a whole, normally when I do these things, the whole thing is just, I stand here and talk about a few shits, but I got a whole, let me see if I can even find it, actually, because, ah, I got a, I got a list of stuff that I, okay, the list isn't as long as I remember, like, every now and then, I'll think about something that I want to talk about and write it down. And half of the stuff that I like... I opened this thing because there's a lot I want to say. And... Uh, but they're not... But uh, half of the stuff that's on this list is stuff I wanted to say right now anyway. So, yeah, there's only two things that I wrote down. Well, three. Well, two of them are TV shows. And honestly, one of them I'm not even going to mention. The, but the second one... I don't know if you've seen WandaVision, it's out on Disney Plus, and it's one of those things that if you have Disney Plus anyways, might as well check it out, especially if you're an MCU fan. If you're a huge MCU fan, then you probably should go get Disney Plus, because it seems like it's very well involved in the next story. Because honestly, I wasn't, I was planning to skip it, then I realized, um, then, then I, and then I realized, uh, that... Wanda was going to be in Doctor Strange's multiverse movie. And then, and I thought about her, because I know, I know, I mean, I haven't read every single comic book, but I've been around the comic book world enough that I know Wanda's story. And so without spoiling anything, I was able to basically guess the plot of the, this, the, the of this show, at least like one of the overall plots. I still haven't figured out. I can't. I don't know which direction they're going, where they're going to end it, but so far there aren't... Actually, the, the, some of the most recent episodes where, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it already, Pietro shows up, and it's not just, like, it's not the Pietro from the movie, it's the one from... It's not the Pietro from the Avengers movie, it's the one from the X-Men prequels, which... But, anyways... It... It, it, honestly, though, it's just that—that that was the first twist that made me like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Everything else was kind of like, "Oh, that makes sense." Like, saw that coming, blah blah blah. That's the first one I was like, "Holy shit, really?" Anyways, it's one of those things that honestly, it, the first two episodes, meh. Like, I wasn't sure if I would stick through it to this, but it, it's worth sitting through. Like I said, if you are a huge comic book fan, if you're a huge if you followed the MCU so far and you want to, and you're wondering what comes next, and you know Tom Holland saying that like, you know Spider Man is not gonna have like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, but here's the thing, people say a lot of shit, doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> I mean he could just be lying to throw us off. I I I will I'm gonna hold out hope of seeing them until the movie actually comes out and they're not in it. Like, if, we, if the movie comes out, and we make it to the post credit scene and still haven't seen their faces yet, then I'll start to admit that, okay, they might not be in here. But other, until then, I'm holding out hope. <laughs> also, I, I said this before. 
I want to see if they do go with the if they are if Phase Four. I mean, we know they're introducing the multiverse. I really want to see Miles Morales brought to life. Anyway, we anyways that's the whole thing. Also, so uh, twenty twenty hit bad, and I know a lot of people are in this situation. But man, I lost half my paycheck. Like not exactly half, but literally half. Because I had three straight years where I made over 20000 And I was... I'm feeling it, man. I'm doing great. Life is good. I got... I mean, I went from living on $8 an hour to 11 And I had made more money than I knew what to do with. <laughs> and, I, good, and that's good because I was able to live lavishly and save up all at the same time. Which ended up coming in real handy in 2020. Because I went from, I think, 2019, $24,000 to 2020. I only made 13000 between two different jobs. Which, I'm still doing better than most people. Because a lot of people didn't make that much. And plus, like I said, I, I know how to live on $1,000 a month. You know, I've, I've been through that, so it's not it wasn't a huge deal for me. But, yeah. Uh, this year's gotten off to a decent start. You know, I've, I've been at my job long enough that I've rebuilt my paycheck a little bit i'm making i'm making so little money that i'm getting money back with taxes which is why i filed them the day i got my w-2 let's get that out of the way make sure i get that that refund check back in my bank as soon as possible and uh, oh yeah they're they're still talking about the stimulus check like they're saying that it's almost certain that we're probably gonna get it and they're just they, as soon as they stop arguing about how much to give us, <laughs> but uh, it it hope like it's one of those things that do I actually need it? No, there are some people out there that that will literally save their lives. For me, it just it helps. It makes things easier. It takes a lot of stress off. It's not necessary, but I definitely want it. Like I can use that money, which actually brings me to the next issue. Which is actually the next issue. <laughs> I I wrote a book. I wrote a bunch of books. That's the one good thing about COVID and quarantining. I had a lot more time, free time, and I got a lot of good writing done. I finished uh, some dra a few drafts, editing together my first full length novel. So I'm putting that on the back burner for a second while I try to get some friends to give me some reviews because no one else has read it but me. So, like, in my head, I know it's a good story and I know it works, but, like, that's because I know what it's supposed to be. I still need at least, you know, one or two outside opinions just to look at it and say, well, you know, because sometimes, you know, other people are going to have a different view from you. Not everyone is going to re re read it exactly how you wrote it, you know? So... Well, that's in process, and I'm going to go back to something I wrote before, which I got plenty of reviews on earlier drafts, and so... <coughs> Don't worry, that's just because my mouth is dry. I'm not sick. I mean, I am a little sick, because I'm just... She's got a one-liter bottle, and I'm just chugging from it, but... That's what happens when you leave a live alone. You can be a disgusting freak. Actually, this is a, yeah, two quart, 1.9 liter. <clears throat> hmm? When you live alone, you can be a disgusting freak. Because I've actually got grape juice, ginger ale, and big red over there. Just so that whichever one I feel like drinking, I can just pick that up. And See, honestly, I don't know if I can actually survive a relationship. Valentine's Day was yesterday, and it's the one day of the year when I'm glad to be single, because I save a fuck ton of money to be, <laughs> and, yeah. I'm so used to being si single and just have, living it, being able to live so much of my life without a care. I mean, I'm not against relationships, I'm not just, I'm just not going out of my way to find it right now, because... Let's be honest, I don't even know if I could handle one. I, I, but, uh, yeah, well, we, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, COVID and the books. So, I've decided to publish one book this year. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. I've been thinking, you know, I, was, but I went back to therapy for a little bit just because, you know, COVID and quarantine, it hit hard. 
and like a lot of changes happened in my life and there was I was going through a lot so as soon as I started getting paychecks again I went to therapy for a little bit we walked through some things she gave me some tools and stuff to practice I've been working on mindfulness and meditation I'm doing better I'm not saying life is perfect other than I'm in good mental health but like I've helped stabilize myself a lot more than I was you know back in July <laughs> and so now I've got my so yeah, I'm, and now I've had time to rethink my life, get things back in order. So yeah, work is slowing down a little bit. Unfortunately, we've because uh, in Tex in San Antonio, I don't know about the rest of Texas, but in San Antonio, definitely, you know, tourism is a huge thing, and so that industry was affected hard by COVID. And then on top of that, you know, people come here, you know, because people are just like geese; they fly south for the winter. <laughs> You know, they come here to get away from the cold weather, and now suddenly our weather's getting cold, and they and they they all the people who the few people who are still traveling they all decided to leave. <laughs> well, actually, no, they can't. Like right now, San Antonio's pretty much shut down because the weather's so cold. But before we get to that, yeah, you know, when you work on the river, busy season is basically like Halloween to Valentine's Day, and after that, it kind of tapers off. And depending on, like, what industry you're in and maybe, like, location, 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 you know, you, your, your slow season might last longer than others, you know? Because, like, the, but for the most part, like, summer, like, no one wants to be in Texas in summer. <clears throat> like, if you're not from here, like, you can't handle that. Especially now, when we're getting to ridiculously high 100-plus temperatures all the goddamn time. But, yeah, anyways, yeah, let's let's get to the weather, because it's gotten cold as hell. I don't know if you notice, I'm wearing long sleeves right now, and you know, normally when I'm home, let's, let's be honest, just buck naked almost the entire time. I'm wearing, I'm, I'm wearing long sleeves, I'm wearing, I'm wearing sweats to, and to socks, like I wore socks to bed. I pretty much only wear socks when I'm about to put shoes on. Yeah, here I am, walking around my house in socks, you know, sleeping under my covers with the socks on, just in case, just to be safe, you know, but, man, it's cold. Because, like, today, it's not supposed to get above 20, 25, and we've actually had blackouts throughout Texas. It's something that they, we got a warning about it yesterday from City Public Service, and, of course, it's Texas. A lot of people don't take anything seriously. CDC starts telling people, oh, we need to wear two masks, and I'm like, I, we're having trouble getting people to just wear one for the ten minutes that they come in the store, and now you want them to wear two and have them both on it just every time they're outside. Good luck with that. Don't forget... This is the state that keeps electing Ted Cruz for some stupid fucking reason. We got a lot of idiots down here. But anyways, I digress. It's cold. You know, like, people have been commenting all the time, like, hey, we came, like, I'm from Chicago, I'm from Minnesota, blah, blah, blah. We, you know, we came down here to get away from this weather. You know, we've got uh, people getting into wrecks because there's just ice all over the road. Me, myself, like, walking to work yesterday, I slipped, like, th actually, I slipped, like, ten times. I only fell down three of them. Two of them were in front of a hospital. Like, I was just, I hit a patch of ice, and I just fell right on my ass. And as I tried to stand up, I, like, I thought I steadied myself. But the first step I took forward, splits! <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you think a hospital would take better care of their you know, driveways and stuff. Unless they like purposely left it like that, hoping someone would break something. Then they can come right back in for more treatment and spend more money. I'm starting to think that was the plan. But yeah, it's, it's cold. Because like, today we've got highs in the 20s. And I think overnight we got as low as 11. And tonight we're go supposedly going to get to single digits overnight. Thankfully, by Thursday, I think it's, no, Wednesday, it's supposed to start getting up to the 40s and 50s again. And by the weekend, we'll be hitting the 70s again. This is just like a freak cold front that sh never should have happened. If we'd done a better job taking care of our fucking climate. You know, and hopefully, you know, with the new administration, you know, we can start 
making progress towards that again so stuff like this doesn't happen as much but uh yeah it's cold it's cold as hell and we've been advised to be careful how much power we're using not plug too much stuff in I mean, me, I've always been good at keeping my power low, just out of cheapness, not wanting to run up the bill. At any point in time, I'll probably, well, it, it depends on what you consider power. Because I'll never have more than, like, two electronics on at a time if you're not counting the things that are charging. If that, it's like, sometimes I'll, like, plug in my laptop and TV in the background. I'll, like, you know, have my music player going while I'm playing video games or something. And then every now and then, the th well, if do I, if you're not counting the fridge, which, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I can turn the temperature down, but there's not much I can do other than that. I think when people are talking about the blackouts, they're probably talking about the people that have, like, the stove and the oven going and TV and the radio. And, you know, their kids are playing on the computer, your laptop, or this one's on the thing, and blah, blah, and, and they're ironing and... And they're the vacuuming and, <clears throat> you know, I'm not sick, I promise. It's just, when it's, it's cold outside, my body does not handle cold well. And I'm trying not to turn my <clears throat> heater on too much. Like, in, I'll intermittently turn it on, like, turn it on for a little bit, let the temperature warm up just a smidge, and then turn it off and run back under the blankets, because I've got... Sweat, sweat, sweatpants and a blanket over my legs right now. Still a little cold. <laughs> it is cold outside. We, we are not used to this. 100 degrees, no problem. I can handle that. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a little sweat. That's all. No big deal. But freezing my butt off the whole day. I mean, it's bright and sunny outside. They're saying we could get snow flurries. Some people have said they've already seen them. I cannot personally confirm this. But like... All I know is I can't wait for it to be hot again And my throat is just getting really dry very fast Why do we dry out quicker in the cold weather Than we do in the heat That makes no sense to me But yeah. I've been talking too much So anyways Half the point of this video was just that I'm gonna be making a book. Cause I'm gonna get, you know, no bad news, work slowing down. So I'm not gonna be there as much, but that means more personal time to work on my projects and stuff. So that's good, can make more headway. Plus, you know, even though my paychecks are gonna be going down, like I said, things have been good for the past few months. So I was able to save up some. Plus, we're getting tax returns and hopefully that second and possibly that second relief fund and possibly more after that, hopefully. And then, yeah, I'm going to publish, you know, publish my next book. It's, it's a short story. It's like 10,000 words, I think. And, you know, it's just a little, it's a, it's a coming of age medical drama. Very sad. If you're not in the mood to cry, don't read it. Unless I'm just a horrible writer. In which case, sure, read it all that you want. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video today because uh, I'm warming up some pizza in the oven. I'm probably just going to, I'm going to spend most of the day just watching anime and chilling, you know? Like you do when you have a day off and it's cold, too cold to actually do anything real. So, yeah, just making this video to make sure the world knows, yes, I'm alive. I, I mean... I feel like I came close to dying a few times because it's just San Antonio. People don't know how to drive on ice. But, but uh, yeah, well, it's, it's all good. I made it back home alive, and I ain't stepping out for the next two days. <clears throat> Hopefully, it, it, but so by the time I leave my house, it gets warmer. Yeah, so anyways, uh, there's a book coming sometime this in a few months. We're gonna give it at least a couple of months. And then, but yeah, by summer hopefully it should be here. And yeah, next. So I'm. So yeah, we're gonna try and keep it so that every year I release at least one book. I've already got three like it banked, so I can start working on some future ones. You know, cause like once I get this one done. 
Cause like I'll do some editing on this one and then start putting it, start working on getting it formatted and pushed out. And then once that one's up, I can start working on, cause I've got 2021, 22, 23. I can start working on the one that I plan to put out in 2024. Cause these others are all pretty much done and it's just tweaks here and there from this point. But uh, so yeah, I can smell my pizza and it smells good. So I'm going to get it before it starts smelling burnt. So until the next time you see me in a video, my name is Nathan Lyle. And I hope you have a good day, month, week, year, however long it is until I see you next time. Well, stay safe, stay healthy, stay the fuck out of the cold. <laughs>